All right, let's get into this game. The queen is out. Bishop needs to hit the queen, I think. So yeah, just trying to teach myself that you don't have to go into the long play of thinking as early as what we do, because the earlier you do it, they've got more pieces on the board, so they've got more variables that they can bring to the table. I think we just keep that long play of thinking for when it's really needed but then the selection of the moves needs to have the elements of the bullet the blitz the rapid thinking um in terms of moves yeah if i was playing bullet what what move would i make here and look at it in the long play eyes and say well okay it's feasible but x y and z can realistically happen yeah not an over respecting of the opponent's position we better move before they blob so bishop coming here looks okay because it's attacking this pawn here yeah so it's that cl clear understanding for myself that yes you still want to do the long play thinking and it's assessing the impacts of a bullet move a blitz move or a rapid move assessing the vi vi viability of those moves and it's that it's then taken away that over respecting of the opponent's position so then i can come out with some proper solid man maneuvers that are based off of the facts not based off of well fictitious type i think this might happen xyz take the pawn it's not got support so the queen's doing a lot of little tiny moves. Just bring the bishop back here if it's getting attacked somehow. Don't want to lose tempo not being able to get my king safe or feel safe with my king. Don't have to castle but I need to make sure my king's feeling safe. So they've moved again. So going to bring the bishop here, just attacking the queen. Could have taken the knight off the board, but it's giving them things to think about. But now they're probably going to start giving us things to think about. So I'm just simply going to take the knight off the board now. Bishop's done enough. And he's got a pawn of ours. He's got a pawn. We, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the rook as well. So I'm going to have to bring the knight here. That's okay, don't worry about it. You've seen this position many times. It's not gone for the pawn. We may as well save the pawn. So, I'm not sure, he's doing a lot of queen moves. Can we trap it or just attack it and see what he wants to do? Let's attack it. King's safe-ish at the minute, but they're doing all these things to... We didn't have to attack. We could move the pawn and try and get to the bishop, the king to castle. So it's our fault we're attacking. Just trying to give them things to think about whilst they're unsettled with their pieces on the back. And they're off again. Could hit the queen again with the pawn this time. Gonna hit it with the pawn. Again, give them more things to think about. I don't really want to be improving their position though, but they're only using the queen at the minute. All right, let's um, open up the bishop now and see if we can get castle king safety. Move the queen up a little bit. All his pieces are starting to move to the other side of the board. Is he kingside castling himself? Looks like he's kingside castling. Get the bishop here or bishop here. Get the bishop here because the potential for.
still take it anyway if we did take like we said before it does open up this area with the rook if he's not going to castle let's castle don't forget the bishop could get trapped as well even if he castled if the bishop takes but we've got to check on the king so he has to move and so he's not going to do a fisher spassky doesn't look like he's castling on the king's side now he's changed his mind but he can't castle on the queen's side either so are we looking to trade we're plus one are we looking to trade down hit the queen Maybe not. Hit the pawn. I'm going to hit the pawn. Head of the snake. So I think they probably can go and castle now or they're probably thinking it because the bishop is no longer attacking the pawn. So they might use that time to actually go and do that. And then if we take, then the queen can take or the pawn can take. So they're not losing out too much in that. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to take now and we still do have this threat now. So when they take back, the bishop can still take the pawn. So that's probably what they're worrying about. So they might do this rather than take the pawn. Oh, they've not done that. They've gone with the queen. So I'm going to take with the check and then bring the queen back and attack the, the bishop back and attack the queen. Don't need to rush it. Let's just bring the bishop back, attacking the queen. Through the queen is the knight. Do we want to take the knight? Don't know yet. Bishop might be doing something important there. <clears throat> right so we can take so the only piece that can take back is the pawn so it's waking up the rook but it does split the pawn isolated could be a positive and it's come back and the knight can't come here anyway the bishop's there so it's not done by any means just because we're like plus two it looks like they're just fighting from the back so bullets would take excuse me with some positives isolated pawn etc blitz would be thinking some sort of arty business knight coming up here for some strange reason knight coming here attacking the knight that's a blitzy type of looking type movement. It's got, it's got positives. It's okay. It's not setting the world alight. Do we keep the bishop on the board? I feel like the bishop feels like it's going to be active. It's just that it's just going to get hit. And then we're going to be bad bishop, bad bishop. So I think we're going to go with the bullet option of just taking the knight off the board, isolating the pawn does open up their bishop a little bit as well but i'm willing to wear that so then we can come with the blitzy type maneuver i think which was the knight coming here to come here attacking the isolated any potential support with the queen king is very airy so we're going to be trying to be sly to come across and put a check on not yet while that is happening with the bishop Any attacks anywhere else? Nope. Let's bring the knight up. Do the blitzy move. So that's like the second move that we did from the earlier continuation. So it's stopping the knight from getting into here. Which makes sense. So does the knight come here making it look like, well, I wasn't going there anyway. 
queen can jump into this spot long player thinking queen can come into this spot it's not there's nothing major at the minute it's just going to have a check on but then he goes here and there's nothing else supporting it so it's like a single positional piece of kit which could get potentially get trapped this is the long player thinking side and thinking i'm thinking oh well we're going there but does it get trapped with the bishop somehow get in here pawns not protected rook attacking the pawn bishops defending the pawn rook rover little thoughts coming into my head what's this knight really doing here do we really need to be bringing it across it's never going to get sitting here is it sitting there you never know we did this though probably pushing queen sitting there again just blocks the pawn from supporting I think it just looks like a nuisance so we'll bring the queen here for now because it's going towards the king area it looks a bit of a nuisance but there's nothing clear at all and then maybe trying to get the knight across then the knight across again that's just been a nuisance but it there's nothing clear at all nothing happening so they'll probably see right through all of that okay right so it looks like they don't really care what you're doing here it's like a nuisance thing if we start pushing the pawn it no longer becomes a new um something to ignore but his rook can just come and defend quite easily right okay so they're ignoring our they're pushing down now it comes across let's push the pawn again nuisance value high but practicalities of doing any real damage very low okay I'm liking the selection somehow this is probably opening up just push getting yeah, nuisance or did I just go for the exchange of the queen Queen is down attacking the knight. Knight is protected by the pawn. Queen is attacking the knight, but the knight is protected by the pawn. What's he realistically doing there with the queen? Is he getting... Oh, no, no. I thought it was like trying to get this. What free space is there there? Maybe he's just going to attack our queen. Remove the knight, then he's not going to go there. I'm going to move the knight, attack the queen, protect the square. Again, just nuisance value. So we don't really have a mate. We'd have to go here, go here, get the rook behind the pawn, but the pawn's blocking the way. But if we got to here, then we could take and have a check on the king situation. So that's the mini plan. It's just that this knight is now being attacked by the queen. So we won't get the king there. But they've moved back. I think they're going to do something. Shall we just keep pushing or do we make space? Two, that's like two, three, four, five, five moves away. 
think they're going to give us a bit more damage in before five moves out there. Let's steady away with the long play thinking. Just nice and steady. The new long play thinking. Not over respecting their uh, position. Let's give a bit of respect to our position. We have a plan. Oh, you see, they're going to spoil the fun, don't they? Which is best opposite the queen. Oh, but he, he's got, he's going to come here. He's coming here. With the bishop. Back in the night. Because it's got no support. So we can still follow the plan. Keep, get the king up. Getting the rook across. Push, push. For now. But like we said. All based on what the opponent does. Don't want to overly respect what they do. But at the same token. Don't want to under respect it. It's quite hard changing your own behaviours. You know in chess. Because you naturally want to do these things. But this this small thing that was highlighted in the over the board games um, is a key thing for me. I'm just thinking, yeah, that if we can nail that, we're going to have even better games. And we're going to be feeling a lot better about the games when we bring them back and evaluate. Because then at least we know what it is. So now they're just charging, attacking, almost ignoring any potential threats we do have because this is just nuisance work at the minute um, if we take we're opening up the bishop bishop's coming in take this pawn doesn't have any protection at the moment so it's almost like i feel like they're like a cornered cat they're just scratching and scratching and scratching and i'm gonna move the king up and still try and continue with the plan of here and push, push, push. Oh, what's happening? It's not got this yet, has he? No, because the knight's there. But if he takes this knight off the board, then his queen can come here. He's got a double whammy. Oh, man. The knight comes here. the pawn knight comes here it's not gonna like that not gonna like that because of that but he could still go there anyway so if we went here like this the queen can still come here attacking the knight hmm No, nope, we lose a pawn. Ugh. That's a damn shame, isn't it? So if we push one, we know what's going to happen. Bishop takes and I rook takes. Then the queen has to come back to defend and the pawn hits the queen. And the queen's scuttling over here. Then this pawn's hitting the queen. Oh, so we're going to lose the knight, dude. This ain't right. This ain't right. I'm gonna push. I'm just hoping that the timing's not gonna work for them. Oh, oh, we can't take it. He's got fancy. We can't take it. Oh, we go there like a mate threat type thing what's he taking a pawn or something go well, there it's a mate threat so the queen comes across the rook comes across like we said in the earlier part of it so there's no real threat really oh man so we come and attack the rook queen with the rook takes a pawn Rook flies up here, putting more pressure. So long play thinking, I'm going with this. 
tuck in the queen. A big pause going on i'm waiting i mean do they just take it or support it or take the pawn we come up he can defend with the rook we push the pawn he can take the pawn and we can go here with a checkmate something like that so he's done something let's just bring the rook here so there's a threat of a mate, so there has to be something to support it. I bet there's the damn bishops that can block or something. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's just the rook. There's no guarantees because this pawn can push actually as well. Damn. Pawn can push because the queen can defend then. Oh. But he feels sick. So we push the pawn, doesn't have to take, oh my you. No. Anyway, it was only a nuisance position in the first place. So we're continuing the nuisance position. So we're expecting the pawn to push rather than the rook going to defend actually. Now that we've seen that picture. Okay, so the rooks come defended so we can continue with what we said but he does have that option of dropping this damn pawn we're going to push onto the pawn continue with what we said knowing that they've got this new piece of armory so i'm looking at my knight but the knight this knight cannot move the only knight that can move is this and it doesn't look like it can do much What's he done? He's checkmate. Yes! Awesome. That's a, yeah, I'm pleased with that. That, cause that's what we're practicing. We're practicing this new non respective calculation type thing. And it's, it's coming together nicely. It might be the ugliest game that we played but we had a rationale for each of the positions that we were trying to go for. We went for this nuisance factor here. There was nothing clear at all on there, um, but it, it was enough to make the opponent um, overextend, yeah, with the attacking of the bishops, attacking here, bringing the queen down, you know, that type of thing, and focusing on this uh, side of the board. So it was enough for them to think, well, there's nothing there. So because they'd overextended, they'd left a little bit of a gap in their arsenal towards their king. I do think though that they, the pawn could have pushed down. I'm just going to have a little look at the evaluation on this one. So I don't think it was... Okay, so it's looking good there. It's looking good. Oh my gosh. Well... God, has White not got any advantage in this? What? One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, 
Wait. I'm shocked. I am shocked. It was actually working all the way through. Well, based on the computer, looking at the computer. I'm really pleased. Nice one.